I started my uh, philanthropic um, adventure uh, in 2011 after the death of my father. I, w I, I was always proud of my father and he was always proud of me and I wanted to continue that journey. In May of uh, 2022, I lost my mom. Uh, she was just an earth angel, just a walking angel among us, and she was just one of the best people you could ever meet. They were always very quiet people um, and very humble people, and I just want to make sure that their name lives on in one way or another, and that's what I'm doing through the foundation. And, and the Gadsden Initiative is, is, is a wonderful, wonderful vehicle for me to um, you know, expand uh, my horizons in the city and make sure that the breadth of giving is there. So I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about the Gazden Initiative and, and introducing me to, to new, wonderful, beautiful people on, on the same amazing journey that I'm on. Through the Gazden Initiative, I discovered the Mustard Seed. They did a tour there. So the Mustard Seed is a wonderful organization and in the next couple of weeks, I'm actually going to be working in the kitchen with, uh, with Chef Hammer. Uh, as well, so I'm really excited about creating some food and sorting some food and, and making some meals for, for the people that are very well deserved. And the Gadsden um, initiative really inspires people to do that, really inspires people to get out and, and get your hands dirty and, and get involved. There's this um, air of fund holders where we're all just a bunch of billionaires and just writing checks. It's not true. You can start with very humble means and just allowing that to grow and then eventually, you know, increase that in the endowment fund and the Gadsden Initiative introduces you to that concept as well. So that's our main passion in our in our careers and our in our lives right now is giving back because we've been able to um, attain a certain level of success, which we're all very proud of and we like to we like to support each other and, and any initiatives we're involved in.